Yo, this thing is fresh. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, I've got 14 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got eight new and two updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got two new and two updates. Let's check them out. First up today from Smitty, we have the Klazarian 3000 series. We've been talking about this for a long time on Farm Sim News and it is finally here. So let's customize one. This is gonna fit somewhere between, it's a large tractor, so it's gonna be below the other Zarian that we've got. Just keep that in mind. So here we go, rim color. You've got red, white, gray. Ooh, yo, check that out. We've also got, oop, we missed it. Go back up, black and chrome oh yeah most of you guys are probably gonna leave it red so we'll leave it there main color here we've got the gloss green we've also got black white orange red and blue oh yeah man those look good and the design part we've got chrome grid and black grid now what is that around i think that's around the exhaust could be wrong, but I think it's around the exhaust. So heads up there. Configurations, we have standard, weight. So that's gonna be weight in the back and then back to standard again. So you can add a weight or not there. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, and Nokian. In Trelleborg, we've got a standard tire, standard with air. We've got a wide tire. We've, narrow tire? That's a, just a tire with bigger wheels. All right, whatever. Bigger wheels, <laughs> we get a wide tire as well. And then duels all the way around. We have row crops and dual row crop. In Michelin, we have a standard tire, standard with air. We have a wider tire, an even chunkier wider tire. Duels and back to standard again. And in Midas tires, we have a standard tire. We have air, wider tire, or wider wheel, wider tire. Duels and back to standard. And in Anukian, just a standard tire there track we have the uh, track and we have the track vc unfortunately i have no idea what that is <laughs> or what it does but i've got a version so we'll check it out and see either way it costs five grand then attachers we have 1800 kilogram weight 2200 2600 or front attachment so you have to have something in the front you can't just have nothing so you can either go with a weight multiple weights or three point boom i love it or PTO? Ah, uh, we don't see one, but as we've seen before, these pretty much work with anything. And then engine setups here, we have the 3300, which will give you 335 horsepower, and the 38, which will give you 379 horsepower. And then, side side, we have standard and EU. So if you want to use this for a standard map, whatever, EU, hey, go for it. There you go. Now, I mentioned that we've got these in-game. Let's jump in, because I do have this installed right here. So let's find out what's going on. Let's not pull that up. No dev controls. So we've got, let's turn it on and find out. Change driving direction. Let's do that. Hey, there it is. So that must be what that is. <laughs> well, now we're on this side now. So we've changed our driving direction. We knew we could do this, but that must be what that is. Other than that, cruise control, map size, changes steering mode so we go through here we have a front wheel steering only or in this case we've got rear wheel steering we have crabs left and right and all wheel very cool man can we change driving direction while we're <laughs> while we're chilling we sure can how's about that let me know if you guys are going to be using this tractor or not i love it i think this is great go for it man check out that lighting as well got plenty of light to do what you want to do come on chrome wheels yeah next we have the man tgx or sorry the m-a-n-t-g-x semi truck pack this is going to come with a semi truck and it comes with a detachment for the back as well so let's check this out so we have rim color this is going to be polished metal chrome wow these are all custom colors uh, maybe <laughs> polished metal chrome black man or m-a-n red old green beige tatra brown Quite a few blues. Man, that's as every custom color under the rainbow, isn't it? Yep, sure is. <laughs> All right. Do we have chrome? Yeah, we do have chrome. All right, well, at least we've got chrome. There's that main color here. 
Getting all the standard ones. I think I know a certain somebody who's going to be going with that one. So we might as well go ahead and change that to that. You can see we've got orange there at the bottom. We've got a silly pea green there at the top. Configuration standard with trailer hitch. So you can add a trailer hitch back there if you want. We also get a swap body. Swap body is going to allow us to move around the cab that goes on the very back of this or the uh, platform rather. And then back to standard again with that fifth wheel hitch or uh, wheel brands to lizard. Nokian and back to lizard and lizard we have a six by two a six by four and a six by six so you can either have it to where two wheels power it four wheels power it or or one axle two axle or all three axles power and in Nokian probably the same thing here man those look good you have a yeah one axle two axle or three three axles powering and then roof color we have without black man red man old green and are we really going to go through all the colors right now sure are wow good job wow yeah there you go let's we'll put it there sun shield we have no small big and no extra parts without we got horns extra protection which adds a uh, grating around your front lights and all then sun shield color oh better put that back on are we gonna go through all of those colors yep every color go for it engine setup 50 which is going to be 500 horsepower, 640, 880 in the back to 500. So goodness gracious. Wow. Yup. That is something else. Holy cow. That is a, that's a beast. That's what that is. Extra mirrors. No. Yes. So you got extra mirrors there. Mirror caps, default, chrome, plastic, color change. I'm assuming color change goes with the... Sunshield color? Nope. Maybe with the roof color? Nope. Maybe with the main color? Yes. Oh, that is nasty looking right there. Let's see, what else do we have? Bull bar, yes or no? And this can come with a few different options here. We have yes. We have a light gray lenses and a light blue lenses on there. Roof bar, no. Yes. Yes, with lenses, all kinds of stuff there. You make it look good. And then back to standard. Holy cow, that is a bunch of stuff. If you do choose the platform on the truck, you're going to be able to use this. This is the MAN TGX Crane Swap Body. This can be found in miscellaneous and has, well, same stuff here. Main colors, let's go over to a nice green design color. Let's find a DJ Blue. Do we have a DJ Blue? Eh, not really. We'll go with that one. And then uh, tension belts, we have the mount trigger, tension belts. So mount trigger or tension belts, either way there. Go with whatever you need. These will drop down on the side. Tr think of this as a tipper bed, basically. Yep. It doesn't hold anything, though. I think it just holds stuff in there. Next up from White Bull Modding, we have the Animal Broom. This is a homemade tool that comes very handy for your farm. With this tool, you'll be able to clean food that your animals did not eat. What this does, hook it up to a three-point hitch, turn it on, and then just run alongside your trough, wherever the food is. It's going to kick it back in. Basically, it's got a tip trigger, as it were, so it collects and then immediately deposits. It's pretty neat. Which tire did we use on here? We've got... Uh, I don't know what kind of tire that is. Horse? It's a horse tire. All right, fair enough. There you go. Next is the gallows. Yes, yeah, not what we thought it was going to be. This is an item to move around your trailers. It is going to be found in telehandlers. So you're going to hook up to a telehandler and then you can hook up to your trailers with this unit right here. Very neat. Very cool. Always a good thing, especially if you want to play a little bit more realistically and not use your tractor all the time. People like me, when I'm playing, usually I've got a telehandler sitting around at least in the second or third year into a gameplay. Telehandlers are awesome, but sometimes it can be difficult to move things around. Hey, this will work just fine for you. Before we talk about the next mod, keep in mind that I believe this was supposed to be released for PC only. I just got done talking with Mappers Paradise, which has happened well after I was finished with the video. So keep in mind, I think this was supposed to be for PC only. Put that in the back of your head while we talk about it. Next, we've got the Millennial Farm Shed Pack by Mappers Paradise. These are going to include three of the sheds that come with the Millennial Farmer map, and now you can put them on any map that you want. Now, there is one thing. In order to get these doors open, I have been unable to get my console controls to actually work with these. However, they're opening and closing with the center mouse button, 
So just keep that in mind. They're not, they're, they're working exactly like the ones in the map do. Um, so you may refrain from using this. Um, you're just not gonna be able to get your equipment in and out, unfortunately. Um, as far as over here, again, right here, all you have to do is walk up to the, uh, the handle, back up, make sure you kind of reset your trigger point right there, back it up again, and you can come through here. This one will open. So the side door on this barn and the side door on this barn will open. So we can go in here, go in the main door, and then we can open that up. We can open these up as well. Boom, there's one, boom, there's two. Uh, however, same thing here, unable to open this door, but you can open it with a mouse and keyboard. So again, just keep, oh, let me out of here. <laughs> just keep all that in mind. Um, so basically this right here is the only shed that can be fully utilized if you are on console. Again, I say just, just keep that in mind before uh, before downloading anything like this. I, I have uh, met, reached out to Mappers Paradise, and so we will see uh, we will see what comes of that. Next, we have the Bench Drill and Grill Pack. This is a drill and a grill for doing, well, pretty much whatever you need to do. These are going to be placeable, so you can put them around your farm, make them look really cool. This is going to cost you $600 of the drill and daily upkeep of $1 per day. The grill is going to be $2 or $200 with a $1 per day upkeep as well. And we've got the stone pack. This is a pack of stones for decoration or role playing. These are gonna cost you $100 or $700, depending on which one you go with. We've got quite a few different ones here, as you can see. Hey, use them, tear them up, put them out there, do what you wanna do. It is awesome, it is really cool to see stuff like this. I know a lot of you guys wanna do like road cleanup, construction, and that kind of thing. Well. These are going to help you do that. Next up, we've got something that a lot of you guys have been asking about. This is going to be your last new mod for all platforms today. The platform for Slim Auto Load. Oh yes, this is by Vanquish and VSR Modding. Sir, we've talked about these guys. We've talked about this mod in particular and uh, form some news. Wow. You're probably going, well, what is it, DJ? What is it? Tell me. Well, how's about this? Let's just get a couple of these. So let's see, what, what color is, uh, see, we've got seed or fertilizer, lime, seeds, and pig food. So fertilizer, I believe, was like a blue or something, right? So let's lease that. And then for lime, lime is white. We'll go with a white there. We will lease one of those. Then we have seeds, seeds are green. So we'll go with a green one there, lease that. And then pig food orange or something so we'll lease that now these will hold 20 bags where are these get, get out of here these will hold 20 bags each of pig food fertilizer whatever whatever so let's do this first off let's get this bad boy out of here <laughs> sorry bro Let's then move some of these out of the way so we can actually start buying stuff. So let's, uh, let's see, lime, seeds, fertilizer, big food, sorry. Send that through the air. Now we need a truck, don't we? Let's go into trucks and let's get something. Let's go with the 850, this will work. Just fine for what we're wanting to do. Let's pick this up and let's buy a bunch of fertilizer pallets now again like i said i believe this holds 20 it says it holds 20 so we're going to try and get that to happen here let's pull this out of the trigger point that i've got everything buying in and let's do this big bags solid fertilizer one two three i think i counted 23 should be enough <laughs> now in here if we select the container we don't really get any thing but it says refill container. See that? When we pulled back up, it said refill container. We pull away and there's nothing there. We press down on the left stick. You can see slowly it says it's refilling. Boop. So what they've done here is made it to where we don't have auto load per se, but what we have is basically an automated fill picture, I guess? 
something like that. So that's just incredible. I think is is the word to be used here. What are you guys thinking? Look at this. Just one by one, slowly but surely, it's just plopping them up there. <laughs> so it's uh, I get, think of this like a tipper. You'd come up to it, you'd fill it up. Well, this allows you to play, especially those of you on consoles where you don't have an auto load. Oh, where's the rest of my pallets at? Where you don't have an auto load pallet, right? This is going to allow you to um, pretend as it were. So it looks like we're going to be doing a double stack here. I'm just going to go ahead in and go ahead and fill this up to the max. There we go. So we've got it filled up to the max and boy, you can feel that weight on the back as well. Now, my question would be, how do you un empty this, <laughs> for example? Um, so it says you could supply sewing machinery and uh, sprayers in the field. Okay, well, we've got fertilizer here. So what takes fertilizer? Well, fertilizer technology in this one. Yep, <laughs> let's, let's get ourselves something real cool here. There's that. And then all we gotta do, I'm assuming, is back up yeah maybe let's hook it up to one of these tractors and see what happens here we go so is it going to open itself it does open itself and you can see it says refill fertilizer and we are refilling at a very hefty rate nice so unlike a trailer which you wouldn't be able to put it in here this actually allows us to come up to it and refill I think that's pretty cool, man. I think that's pretty cool. Plus, the price is right, $9,500 each. Look at that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yup. That's exactly what I like. Check that out. And now we are off to the races. Dude. Yo. That's cool. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. First up today, we have the Cinderella 1117. Now, I believe beforehand we only had the Cinderella 11. Now, we've got the 17, I think. <laughs> there is a changelog, but there's no changelog. So, assuming that this is the new piece, uh, holds 3,375 liters, has 121 horsepower requirement, 7.6 meters at 9 miles per hour. This is a direct drill, $78,000, and does corn, sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beets, and cotton. 121 horsepower? Wow. Hey, 7.6 meter direct drill? Go for it. This is going to be great. I wouldn't say not only for starting farms, but like for, <laughs> for continuing farms. Not bad, man. It's an update to the MRF Special Low Loader TLS 39. This is going to be change log 1.1.0.1. Yes, we had an update for this the other day, but this update fixes the game freezes that some players were experiencing when using this mod. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First up, we have the John Deere 7R, 8R, 8RT, 8RX 2020 EU versions. This is PC only right now. The same issues that we're having with the release update of the US version for consoles was the same problem that was going on with the EU version. So both of those are going to be coming at a later date for console players and PC players will be getting the update to the USA version. I believe at around the same time that the console players do. So keep that in mind. But for right now, the EU version is here for you guys. So let's take a look. Let's jump in first in the 7R. I think one of the best looking 7Rs I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, it is 2020. It's beautiful. Come on, man. Front configurations. We have weight holder, 300, 500, 700, and 1100 kilogram weights, plus a front attachment with PTO and hydraulics. You've got everything there. Wheel brands. We have Trelleborg. Michelin, Midas, back to Trailerborg. In Trailerborg, we have standard, wide tires, God, these look good. We have wheel weights, wides with weights, rear twins, twins all around, and back to standard. In Michelin tires, we have standards, wide tires, weights, wides with weights, rear twins, and twins all the way around. And in Midas tires, we have a standard tire and a wide tire, wides with weights, and a wides with weights, or weights, wides with weights, rear twins, twins all the way around. Really cool stuff there. I prefer the wide tire 7R, so we're gonna go with that. Fenders, we have no, we have a front fender, we have all fenders, we have back fender, and then we have an extended back fender with the addition of the front fender as well. Now my preference is, well, 
none. I think it looks great with none of them on there. So I'm going to go with that. Protection grid, no or yes. Now, what does that mean? What do we need a protection grid for? Well, it's got a front loader, but we're going to get there. Windows, we have regular. We have dark tint one and we have dark tint two. I really prefer dark tint one. I like that. I think it looks good. In here, we have a 210, which is going to give you 231 horsepower. We have a 230, which will give you 253 horsepower. 250, which will give you 275. We have a 270, which will give you 297 horsepower. We have a 290, which will give you 219 horsepower. 310, 341. And 330, which will give you 363 horsepower. All the way up, 350. Oh, yeah, 385. Man, so anywhere between 231 to 385 horsepower. Front loaders, yes or no, this is going to work great. Uh, you could probably use the H480 by custom mounting on here, but the end game John Deere will work just fine as well. Screen selections, we have no screen. We have additional screens. So you can add an additional screen down there. All the screens do work. Working lights, no or yes. You can add working lights in the very front as well. Moving over to the 8R, one of the best look attractors I've ever seen as well. Front weight, no standard. 300, 500, 700, and 1100, plus a front attachment. Oh, yeah. But you can go with no as well if you like. Wheel brands, we have Trelleborg Michelin and back to Trelleborg. In Trelleborg, we have standard wheel weights. Or wheel weights one, wheel weights two, wides, wides with weights one, wides with weights two, rear twins, and twin wheels all the way around. And in Michelin, we have a standard weights one, weights two, wide tires, wides with weights one, wides with weights two, rear twins, and back to a wide tire? That's a wider tire. Oh, yo, that's new. <laughs> Ayo, so we got a wider tire. This is a chunky boy in the background. Yeah, look at that. You can also stick your different weights on there as well. And then back to a standard. It doesn't look like there's any uh, duels on the Michelin. So only on Trailerborg will you get the, the uh, duels. Fenders, we have no front fenders. All fenders, back fenders, back wide fenders with a standard front, and then none. Windows, same thing here. Engine setup, we go from a 230 all the way up to a 410. That is right. You've got a 253 horsepower, 275, 308, 357, 388, 420, and 458 horsepower engines. Huh. Screens, yes or no. So you do the additional screen inside if you wish, and then the working lights on the front as well. And that is going to hold off very standard through the 8RT and the 8RX as well. Front weights all are going to be the same here, plus the three point. More weights, you can actually add more weight here if you'd like. I know this can get a little bit overweighted sometimes, so you can add up to, gosh, I don't know how much weight that is down there, but you can add up to a bunch of weight on here. Wheel setups, we have standard and three meter tracks, so back and forth between those. Windows, we have regular, you've got your tent in there, engines are exactly the same as the 8R, screen selections are the same, and working lights are the same as well. And then moving into the tractor that everybody loves with the 3D tracks, you boy, you've got of course all the different stuff through there. Crawler tracks here, we've got two different ones to choose between, you have pretty much a standard and a wider track. These wider tracks look very, very good. If you're looking for an extended, like 120 inch uh, base, that's gonna be available only on the US version. Windows, you have two different tents. Engine setup, 310 up to the 410. Additional screens, yes or no. Working lights, yes or no. Huh. <laughs> this is a very, very good looking pack. Uh, Sid Monning's done a fantastic job with this. If you guys really enjoy playing with EU tractors, well, if you're on PC, now you can use them. Console players, it's going to be a couple weeks at the most. So just hang tight. We'll talk about it more in Farm Sim News later today. And just second and last new mod for PC and Mac players today is going to be the Disk Agro BDP 6.3. This is 160 horsepower required, 6.3 meter disk era. Goes 9 miles per hour. Main color here, we've got a couple different ones for you. We've got green, red, another green, blue, and a darker red. You've also got rim colors in here. All similar stuff through there. You can see your rim color is going to change depending on what you go with there. And then design color. You got black, black, and black. <laughs> so whatever you like to go with, those are going to be your discs. As far as design, you have a disc design. You have a... Uh, come, come, chops it up. Yep, those are the discs actually that we used when I was younger on our farm. Attacher type, we have a trailer or three-point, whichever works best for you. And then wheel setup, we have standard, 
and wine tires. Making our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players today. First, we have the Sammy Lamborghini Herleman Pack 15190. This updated for consoles yesterday, and we've got our PC update today. So this is a minor bugs have been fixed. Fix the interior texture to normal. Fix the size of the main component one. Engine sound has been, or engine sound choice has been added, and RMT configuration has been added as well. And your last mod today, stepping back 2020 changelog 1.1. Sawmill has been fixed, BGA and manure system ready, horse extension ready, buy silo, land trade, fix the map border, fix the splines, water plane has been fixed, street sidewalks and walls have been extended, tip collisions and seasons mask has been fixed, tree fix, helper fix, terrain fix, bark mulch added to the point of sale, and new small cow and pigsty. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later.